Here is Minecraft installed on my Chromebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft on your Chromebook. Before we get in, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description if you happen to face any problems. Here's a quick disclaimer, kindly pause the video and read this before you proceed. Firstly, copy the Crostini container install flag, head on over to your Chrome browser and click on it. Now once in Chrome, paste this link in your search bar and hit enter right away. Go ahead and select defaults. Now quick facts, Debian 10 is Buster, whilst Debian 11 is Bullseye. If you already have the terminal installed, kindly use the last command to check your Debian version. Now select Bullseye as your Debian version and then go ahead and restart your Chromebook for the changes to apply. Now hit the search bar and type in settings. Once in settings, click on advanced and then scroll down and click on developers. Now turn on your Linux development environment and once the screen or the interface pops up, go ahead and click on next. Now feel free to change your Linux development environment name to whatever you please and go ahead and customize the size of your Linux development environment. I'll leave mine at 20 because I use Linux a lot and then I'll hit install. Now all you have to do is wait for the Linux terminal to finish installing. Now copy the link for the scheduler configuration flag. Open your browser, paste it in your search bar and hit enter. Now click on defaults and change it to enables hyper threading. Once done, minimize the tab and go back to the links. Copy the Crostini GPU support flag link, move back to your browser, paste it and hit enter as well. Likewise, click on default and change this to enabled. Now reset your Chromebook so that the Chromebook can apply this. Just a quick word, if you're looking for ways to make money online, you've got to try out peer to profit It's a safe software that allows you to share your internet and return for money. I use this personally and I can vouch that it doesn't steal your personal information and that it's legit. If you're interested, kindly click the link down in the description or the link on my website to get started. Now, copy from code 1 to 8 and whilst doing that, I need you to pay attention to these tips. Firstly, if you happen to face an error when running a code, kindly attempt to rerun the code again, as sometimes slow Wi-Fi or miscopying of a code could be the cause of the error. Secondly, your performance will be hugely based off the specific generation of your CPU and your RAM. Sometimes lagging can be solved by reducing your resolution, but that comes at the cost of the quality or graphics of your game. Also, the performance is personally been tested on an actual Chromebook and a PC turned into branch Chrome OS. Feel free to try any other Chrome OS distros. I'll go back and copy the 7 code, paste it in your terminal and hit enter and let it run. Now a small window should pop up immediately. I'll advise you read the terms and services, but since I've already done that, I'll click on agree. Now depending on your internet speed, Badlion is going to install and update and right after that, a login window should open. I'll log in and see you guys on the other side. Hold on, we are not done this yet, we need to create a shortcut so we can open it with just a click of a button. So what we need to do now is copy the 8 code, paste that as well in the terminal and hit enter. Once that is done, we are going to run and copy the 9th code which should open up an app called menu library that would assist us in creating a shortcut for Badlion. Once in the interface, click on games at the left hand side and then click on the plus symbol at the top left corner and then hit add launcher. Click on new launcher and change the name to Bad Lion on any preferable choice and click the green tick to the right hand side. Now go down and click on the folder icon next to the command and then click on home at the left side of your screen, choose the Bad Lion app image, click ok at the top right hand corner. When done, hit the save button at the top and then you can successfully exit out of menu library. From this point, you can just hit the search bar and type in Bad Lion. Here's my Bad Lion shortcut and go ahead and open Bad Lion. Feel free to tweak the settings, change it to your preferences. However, I'm going to launch into a game and I'll see you guys on the other side. As you can see, my game has loaded up and I'm in a game of Bed Wars. Basically, I love Bed Wars and if I'm going to be playing Minecraft 9 out of 10 times, I'm going to be in a game of Bed Wars. So if you guys thought this video was helpful, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button and come join my discord down in the description if you happen to face any problems.